Oh wait, let me say one thing. Sure. I think, you know, pervasive computing was originally coined by somebody at Xerox Park a long time back. And, and the idea was to get the, um, get the information out of the computer and out into the world and really change from thinking about the information living inside of the computer to the information being all around us and us living inside of the information. So us really being embedded in the flow of information that's kind of permeating the world. Think of it as a new kind of ether. So um, we have pursued this vision of the trillion node network, that is of what the world is going to be like when literally or almost literally every manufactured object has some capability of doing some amount of computation. And that's going to happen. That's going to happen one way or another because it's just cheaper that way. So, so the tri trillions of computers is a done deal. We could do it well or we could do it poorly, but, it, but it's going to happen. So we're right there at this moment where there's a lot of disruptive technology, things that can really turn markets on their heads. And if you, and if you think of user-centered design, which un uncovers unmet needs, and disruptive technology. So user-centered design plus disruptive technologies equals brand new markets. And, and I think those brand new markets are in the space of a more mature information age, which is the pervasive computing age. And so that's our mission.